Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us for another segment. In this segment, we're going to be speaking with Dr. Jeff Skolnick. He's joining us here as Senior Vice President of Clinical Development at Innovio Pharmaceuticals. He's going to talk about the current research and development of a DNA vaccine for RRP. It's a very rare disease caused by HPV. Welcome to Health Professional Radio. Dr. Jeff Skolnick, thank you for joining us. Neil, thank you so much for having me. Very much appreciate the opportunity. I did mention your uh, position there, Senior Vice President of Clinical Development at Innovio Pharmaceuticals. Give us a brief look into your professional background and talk briefly about your role there at Innovio. Sure. So Innovio is a biotechnology company that is focused on bringing new medicines to patients with infectious disease, with precancers and with cancers looking at uh, utilizing DNA as medicine to really build immune responses for our vaccine programs and therapeutic immune T cells and antibodies for our precancer and cancer programs. In addition, we're looking at some really new novel opportunities to utilize DNA to build functional proteins in the body to treat diseases. So there's quite a lot that Inovio is doing. I myself, uh, as you mentioned, uh, lead several of our clinical programs. I'm a senior vice president of clinical development, and my role is really to, as it were, channel our teams to build programs that ultimately, and projects that ultimately bring the most value to patients in order to conquer human diseases. And again, those diseases are infectious diseases, most recently over the last several months and years, as we know with Mm COVID-19, other infectious diseases in the pre-cancer space with our HPV programs dedicated to treating HPV 16 and 18 diseases. And as we'll talk about today, HPV 6 and 11 in recurrent respiratory papillomatosis, and also potentially treating uh, cancers Uh, utilizing our DNA medicines for all of that. So it's a really exciting time uh, to be uh, working at Inovio and working together with this technology. Well, first off, tell us what respiratory papillomatosis actually is. I I mentioned that it's a rare disease uh, caused by HPV. And as uh, you said, uh, HPV type 6 and 11. What is it and what are some of the current treatments? Recurrent respiratory papillomatosis is a very rare disease. This is a disease or condition that is caused by human papillomavirus types 6 and 11. Many people are familiar with HPV and the prophylactic or preventative vaccine strategies that we've taken. HPV is a remarkably common virus. Actually, most people, certainly in the U.S., but if not globally, most people have been exposed to and probably have had HPV of some type in their lifetime. The majority of people, though, can cure, as it were, on their own, this viral infection. But for those that cannot, they unfortunately manifest symptoms and signs of the viral infection. RRP, recurrent respiratory papillomatosis, is specifically an airways disease, an aerodigestive disease, secondary to the manifestations of, as we've said, HPV in general, HPV 6 and 11. And so what happens is that often uh, people with HPV 6 and 11 who have RRP will have these small tumors, these papillomas, little, uh, almost little uh, pupils as they were in the airway, little, uh, really little, tiny little tumors that get in the way of respiratory function of potentially speaking and can cause not only discomfort, but uh, also life-threatening symptoms. Mm -hmm. So these are individuals that have these papillomas on their vocal cords, in their airway, really obstructing the opportunity to speak. And again, in the worst cases, really obstructing breathing, as it were. Mm -hmm. And as you can imagine, uh, you, you can't continue like that, obviously, with these papillomas in your airway. And so for those individuals who have uh, RRP, it's really a lifetime, as it were, of procedures and therapies that hopefully will get rid of these papillomas, that will clear these papillomas, these tiny little tumors from their 
uh, vocal tract, from their vocal cords, and from their respiratory tract as well. To talk a little bit about some of those technologies that allow for this, that are available now, as you'd imagine, the majority of those technologies are really surgical or invasive in nature. So these are ear, nose, and throat clinicians in general who see these lesions in the airway, who go in either with a laser or a scalpel or some type of object that physically has to cut, scrape, or eradicate these papillomas from where they're sitting. And unfortunately, this is something that while it can temporarily clear the airway or vocal column from these lesions, doesn't unfortunately address the virus. And so the, the virus still being present causes these papillomas to come back. There are some newer technologies, some newer therapies, actually, medicines that are either injected into the papilloma or given systemically that are also used as cancer therapeutics that have shown some promise in treating RRP. But similarly, these end up being long-term, sometimes lifelong therapies. And when withdrawn, the papilloma has just come back. So for patients with RRP, this is a lifelong condition caused by the HPV 6 and 11 virus often acquired either at birth or through sexual transmission, mm -hmm. who really are faced with a lifetime of procedures or of treatment uh, to really be able to live, as it were, as, as full and normal life. You mentioned DNA as medicine early in our conversation. What treatments are you working for for uh, RRP there at Inovio currently? For some time now, Inovio has been committed to potentially finding new therapies for the HPV space. Again, as I mentioned before, HPV diseases and HPV cancers are preventable, and we have HPV vaccines, prophylactic vaccines that can be utilized to keep from having these diseases from occurring in the first place. But when that doesn't happen and an individual acquires HPV, whether that be 6 and 11 for RRP or 16, 18 for the cervical dysplasias, then the prophylactic vaccines no longer work. And so Inovio has been utilizing DNA as medicine in order to treat people who have acquired HPV and developed sequela of their HPV infection. In the, again, cervical space for 1618, that's been for high-grade cervical dysplasia. And as we're talking about today for HPV 6 and 11, that's now to hopefully provide a novel new therapy for the treatment of RRP secondary to HPV 6 and 11 specifically. And what our DNA medicines are, are really small circular pieces of DNA, it's a DNA plasmid that's been designed synthetically in the laboratory and built with synthetic DNA, placed in a vial essentially with nothing more than salt water, and then is injected the same way we would inject any other vaccination, so similar to the way you'd get the flu shot or as many of us have received a COVID-19 vaccinations over the past two years. This is an intramuscular injection. The DNA is injected into the musculature and then followed by what we call electroporation with our Selectra device. And the goal is really to allow the body to build an immune response against the HPV virus itself. So by injecting this DNA, what we are building ideally is an immune response that can recognize the virus and then attack and clear that virus. And in doing so, clear, in RRP's case, the papillomas caused by the virus, but importantly, also clear potentially the 6 and 11 virus itself. As we said before, Patients with RRP have the opportunity to be treated, but they're treated frequently. They're often requiring multiple treatments, multiple surgeries over their lifetime. Our hope is that with the DNA medicines that Inovio is developing, we can essentially treat with a series of doses of that DNA medicine, but build an immune response that ends up being long-lasting, ideally lifetime, so that these patients are not needing to go back and need procedure after procedure after procedure. And the concept is that we're using the human immune system to build that immune response against the virus, which prevents the development of the papilloma in the first place. So it's really a clearance of the virus utilizing the DNA medicine. 
that results in clearing the papilloma and then keeping that papilloma from occurring again. Well, give us a website, if you would, where we can learn more about the technology that you're developing at Inovio. Sure. So you can certainly reach out and take a look at Inovio.com, where we have our information about not only the RRP program, but our HPV programs in general and the other work that we're doing. And that's I-N-O-V-I-O dot com, correct? That's correct. It's been a pleasure speaking with you, Dr. Skolnick. Thank you so much for lending us some of your time. Of course, Neil. Thank you so much for taking the time. I really appreciate it. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Dr. Jeff Skolnick, Senior Vice President of Clinical Development at Innovio Pharmaceuticals. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.